Dymo Label is one of the easiest apps for merging labels with Excel and Access files. We'll use the same Excel and Access files we use with the Avery Design Pro. First, we'll select a medium label under the Multi-Purpose Labels. Multi-Purpose Labels, Medium, Blank One. Now we'll insert the text box on top. and the barcode on the bottom. We'll lower this down. Okay. You should probably save this label for future use. So under File, Save As, this is actually a medium sized label. So I'll type in medium. Barcode. Label. And save. Then click on File and select Import Data and Print and click New. File, Import Data and Print, New. A wizard appears explaining each step. Select a data file and label layout. We've already selected the label layout. Arrange the data fields on the layout. Select the data to print. So click Next. Here's our layout. Click the Browse button and find your database. Under My Excel Inventory Sheet, I have the database we used before. Click Open. Now click Next, and you see the layout. Under the instructions, it says drag or click fields to the label layout. Here's a preview of the label. We'll fill this in. But first, click Use First Row as Field Names. This is a Excel spreadsheet, the first row, has these names listed. Drag the description up to the text box. But before we go on, let's enlarge our view. Okay. Let's drag the supplier and the cost in text format up next. But first we'll add a line so we can space things out better. Put the supplier there. And you can see over here, this looks pretty good. Cost in text. Fifteen cents for a capacitor. 0.15 microfarad ceramic. Let's look at the instructions again. Rearrange the fields on the label layout as desired. We've done that. Use backspace or delete as needed. Add spaces, punctuation, or other text as needed. Preview the results. I'd like to move this 15 cents over 
So I'm going to add a few more spaces. And you can see it move here. That looks good. Finally, place the part number for the barcode. Barcode is on this lower half. We drop that in here. And now you see the barcode. There is a small problem. This program always adds a space, and we don't really want that space as part of the barcode. So if you watch the barcode, it will shrink when I backspace this out. That's better. Click the arrows to see the different rows in the table. As you click through, you can see everything seems to fit well. Click Next and you'll see the rows in the database are, are all selected. You can unselect all the rows and reselect just a few rows. Notice down here we have three labels to print. If I select all of them, we're back to 16 labels to print. In the bottom left, you can save the data and layout by entering a name. Let's do that. We'll call this the Excel Parts List 01. You could now go to the print drop down box and choose the printer if you have a twin turbo. And then click the print and you'll get 16 labels. Let's practice. Let's practice merging an access database and see if it's just as easy. First, open the save label we just created. Then click on File and select Import Data and New. Click Next. Click the Browse button and find your database. This time, we'll pick the Access database we used before. It's under My Access, Inventory Database. Microsoft Access Database. Open. Click Next. We'll enlarge this. And here's the preview again. And as before, we'll move the description up. drop down a line and add the supplier and cost and we'll move the cost over a few spaces and finally we'll add the part number backspace and this label looks pretty good and as before you can see all of the labels by stepping through them and they all fit while they look the same as before remember this is a completely different database it's the access database and it works just as easily as an Excel database
We'll click Next. And here are all the rows listed, ready to print. We think you'd agree, merging from either an Excel or Access database is easy to do.